He had so many plots in motion, I doubt even his death put a stop to them all. Touring Erebonia 1. We have the Courageous Bridge. No change in weather or wind direction since entering Kreutzen Provincial Airspace. We are currently cruising at a speed of 3,000 SPH. Nothing abnormal detected on the radar thus far. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Detour around the Twin Dragons Bridge, staying within the clouds. Take extra care that we aren't noticed by the Noble Alliance's surveillance. Yes, ma'am. Wow. She's a real natural at this. Yeah, it's hard to believe she's only been in the position for a day. Indeed, she has proved a worthy captain in father's place. <laughs> As if anyone could fit the role better than our student council president. She still looks like a mascot character, though. <laughs> That's just one of her many charms. Oh my. Yeah, and besides, I can feel at ease knowing she's in charge. So, today's the day we start our journey anew, right? Right. We settled what we'll be doing last night. Now all that remains is to do it. Previous day, courageous conference room. Well, Toa and, and George hiccups. should be able to handle the day-to-day -day running of the ship, so that's out of the way. And whatever we decide, it's not like we're going to be able to do anything major today. Still, I think it's time we start hammering down exactly what we're going to be doing from tomorrow onward. In theory, the Courageous gives us the ability to fly around the whole country with ease. But, in reality, the Noble Alliance has control over most of Erebonia, so we're limited in where we can actually go. Yeah, we don't want to risk getting too close to Alliance territory. We'd run the risk of being captured, or even worse, being shot down. It's sad to think how we barely have anywhere we can land with an amazing airship like this at our disposal. I care to share your thoughts on this instructor? Oh, you kids can just do whatever you want. <laughs> I lost the will to put in any effort after Captain Classy got off. Oh my goodness. You slacker. I'm pleased that you think so highly of my father, but... Maybe Laura can hook you up with a one-on-one -on -one lecture on the Arsade School of Quartzmanship, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I was kidding. In all seriousness, if you need more people fighting in whatever you end up doing, I'll be happy to help you out. Just don't forget that the Courageous was entrusted to you kids, not to me. If you want my advice, then you got it. But you need to be able to make all the important decisions on your own. Uh, of course. <laughs> You almost sound like an instructor for once. <laughs> Getting back to the matter at hand. We don't need to decide everything right at this moment. What say you to figuring out how and what for now? Come again? I assume what would be our overall goal. Something realistic that we can all work together towards. And how would be a basic idea on how we intend to achieve it? Uh-huh. It's a little trick we use in the student council. It's easier to get motivated when you have a specific goal in mind. You guys were doing the same kind of thing in the weeks before the Academy Festival, remember? The concert was what you were working toward, and all your other planning was how you intended to pull it off. I see. That makes sense. We did spend a lot of time before and during the festival working out all the details, come to think of it. Not to mention taking care of the things we couldn't plan, like the strange stuff at the old schoolhouse. We were coordinating with all of the other classes and clubs at the same time, too. When you break it down step by step, we did so much without even realizing it. And we may have our own personal goals right now, but if we can wrap those up into one overarching goal, it won't seem half as much. How about making it something related to the Academy itself, then? I was thinking the exact same thing. I wonder what's happening there.
Toa, George. The Academy is currently under the Noble Alliance's control, right? That's right. The staff and students who are there are doing what they can, but... As you know, during the attack, a lot of the students managed to flee Trista and are now scattered across the country. Now, most of the upper-class students chose to stick it out, though. They've got no reason to fear the Alliance, being nobles and all. All right, then. I think our what should be taking back the Academy. That's How did I know he was going to say that? The Courageous will serve as a good means of transport, but we'll need a proper base sooner or later. But with it, we can get a better look at the current state of things in Erebonia and try to reach out to those who are in need. And whatever information we learn along the way could bring us that much closer to liberating the Academy. Can't see taking it back going that smoothly, though. No doubt. It's near the capital, so its defenses are going to be rock solid. Still, I like it. What goal is more worthy of us than reclaiming something we hold so dear? Indeed. Regardless of personal motivations, I can't think of an objective more fitting to us as a group. And if we actually manage to achieve it, the sky's the limit for us. <laughs> I'm genuinely moved by your positivity. Well, their optimism is probably their strongest point. We were thinking of something along the same lines, in fact, so it works out. And hey, if we all thought about it, what's to stop the others from Thors from thinking it too? So if you happen to bump into anyone who escaped from the Academy, why not go and ask them to join us? I'm not saying it has to be your primary focus or anything, but the more people we have on our side, the better. That's a great idea! Yeah, we'll be sure to keep an eye out. Uh, we have about the bare minimum crew we need to fly at the moment, but it's not like this is their full-time job. I'm sure our current staff won't be here forever, so we're gonna need a few extra hands on board at some point. Ideally, we could have whoever's here now stick around long enough to train anyone we end up recruiting. I know our numbers are small right now, but the more people we can get on our side, the higher chance we stand of making Trista and the Academy our home again. And I don't know about you, but I get this weird sense of satisfaction knowing that we students are going to be the ones to do it. <laughs> I know the feeling, actually. Everything works for me. I'd say that's our how decided, wouldn't you? Agreed. To wrap all this up, we'll use the Courageous as our base and as a way to get a good idea of the current state of things in Eastern Erebonia. Okay. Along the way, we'll try to recruit as many fellow Thor students to help us out as we can. All for the sake of our primary goal, taking back Thor's military academy. Well, I suppose what we need to decide next is where we should head for first. Yeah, we don't have many places we can go at the moment, but there's Lagram, Ymir, the Nord Highlands. We're able to land at the 4th Armored Division's base too, right? Yeah, I asked Dad about that yesterday and he's fine with it. Probably better for us to swing by all of them once, really. Well, we know there's people that each of them because we were already there. Oh, almost forgot. Prince Oliver sent you a few requests to take care of. Of course we did. We have had to have a task list that needs to be taken care of. Yeah, right? Oh, joy. The details are all right behind you. Um, behind us? Oh, there's a normal computer here. I've only ever really used one in class. No need to fear, technology doesn't bite. Plus it'll be easier in the long run for you to grab stuff from there. So go on, take a look. Sure. Oh, lucky us. These are made by the Epstein Foundation. So they're identical to the ones we used in class. Tap, there we go. Something's popped up. Extra activities. So this is how everything's displayed. The intelligence division has some of these too, I think. We have monster madness required. And Elder Ivan. A large mysterious monster has appeared on the highlands. We ordinarily 
have asked L Locken to take care of it, but he's out on patrol and can't be reached. Would you be willing to defeat it for us in his stead? If so, you can find me talking with Gwyn in the lakeside cabin. Elder Ivan. Find our first years. I figured out where a few Thor students are. I know it's important to get them to join us, but I want to make sure our first years are safe. This is from Toa. You'll be checking on Monica, Mint, Casper, and Vivian. I'm pretty sure I talked to all of those. I'm sure they'd make great additions to the crew. The terminal on the bridge will tell you just where you can find them. Thanks. All right, without leave. This is Lieutenant General Craig. A civilian we had taken into our protective custody has vanished. Would you be willing to offer us a few more sets of eyes as we look for him? Speak with me at the camp for further details. Craig. And badass in danger. From cargo. Pateri's in trouble. Those damn nobles, they... Damn it. I'll tell you at the inn in Legram, okay? Hurry up and get over here. Cargo. There's one from Nord, one from Legram, one from Gorelia's Proving Ground. Seems we've got plenty of work in store for us all over the country. And how I wish it were my imagination, but I think I saw a just depressingly familiar name on one of them as well. I'm kind of worried about the one Dad sent us, and I don't think we can ignore that unusual monster that's appeared in Nord either. Prince Oliver took the time to gather and send all of these to us himself. Wow, how did he manage to do that? He just left for Western Erebonia. He's a guy with plenty of connections, especially through the Bracer Guild. He said he's going to keep finding stuff like this that he thinks you can handle and send them your way. How many you end up doing is up to you, but I'd recommend taking care of the more urgent ones at least. Understood. I don't think any of us mind one bit. Indeed, it helps bring focus to our goal of touring the region and helping those in need. With that being said, I would assume checking the safety of our fellow Thor students is our top priority. I took the liberty of giving you that one myself. We're slowly getting information in on where other Thor students could be. Anytime we find something, we'll update the computer, and who knows, maybe they'll be willing to join us too. How convenient. I'm suddenly very grateful for those classes. Guess we'll be checking this thing pretty often. Well, I think that's almost everything. When you've decided where you want to go first, let me know, okay? Oh, and George is hard at work setting up an orbital factory in the ship's hold. So you may need... If you need any modifications made to your Arcus or any quartz, you can sort those out there. While you're at it, it's worth checking out the other facilities on board too. It's not much now while we're short on staff, but I'm sure any students you recruit will get creative with their space. Might as well. Still, do you guys mind if we figure out who's going to be making up our active party when we disembark first? Actually, if we're doing that now, would you mind including me? I'd like to see the strange monster from the Highlands request myself. I don't mind at all. That sounds fair. I can come if you need a hand, too. You just let me know if I'm needed, okay? Thanks, Instructor. Now, let's see. It is temporarily not possible to remove Gaius from the party. 